put it under the consistently average category. So when all the dust settles, Ooh, it's all set down. Wow. You are hating. Week 17. He Division champs. He Who's he good, if you look at the records, they're not, not very good right now, so it's just what it is. That's who who wins said. the division after week 17? You know, I, I'm going to go with the Redskins, and, and okay. the reason being is I think the Redskins right now are playing good enough ball, and they're, they're running the ball well, all right? when you, In order to win the division, you have to run the ball. You have to play solid defense. That's what they've been doing. You were talking about earlier, Cole, the Carolina Panthers' uh, rush offense being one of the top ones. Well, guess what? They held guess the 81 they yards. It? Exactly. 81 yards. And that's because they have those big uh, linemen up front from Alabama who are doing a great job. Other guys are filling in and tackling. Their safeties are tackling well. And, and guess what? Alex Smith, wherever he goes, he, they win. Yeah. It's very simple. And I think that's why the Redskins are going to end up winning this division. Rod, he didn't really sell me on Washington. He, he said they're not. playing just good did, enough. Did you hear so it, though? Yeah, did you hear it? It, it, like, it didn't sound so good. I'm, I mean, I'm you said go that with it was, Washington. Yeah, yeah. You said they were yeah. average, yeah. so what's well, good? I mean, listen, it's facts. Until right. you beat the champs, you're not going to be the champ. There they go. So, to me, the Philadelphia Eagles, Carson Wentz, He's getting it together. He's coming back. He's starting to feel healthy. Knees getting healthier. The running game still has to get to a better position for that football team. The receiving core is starting to get healthy. The defense, I'm a Jim Swartz fan. I know they can get pressure on the quarterback. I think the back end is going to start playing a lot better. I just believe that this football team is starting to hit their stride. They're going to play within their division. That you, they have to beat the Philadelphia Eagles if they want to take that throne away from them. All I'm saying is they're not playing the Giants every week, right? Yep. That's what they did last week. They played the Giants. They got after them a little bit, and they threw the ball well. But like you said, you have to run the ball in this game to win, and, and they've, they've lost Jay Ajayi. They, Darren Sproles out. So you gotta, you're leaning on some young backs they got two to backs come in out. and play. They got Smallwood and Clement. Yeah. What, what about what the Giants? Are the Giants completely dead in the water at 1-5? and five? Is it a wrap? Can they pack up and oh, All the 1-5 teams, you can put a fork in them. All the 1-5 teams. Get them off the grill. Whoop. They done. They're done. Ooh, I like burnt, it. Burnt edges on that no, one. Right I, you know, <laughs> I feel the same. Giants done? Oh, yeah. Stick a fork at them. And it's not Odell's fault. Okay. It's not. Giants currently sitting at one and five, and both of these cats right here say stick a fork at them. They are completely done. And the NFC East hasn't had back-to-back champs since Philly rattled off four straight. That's 2001 through 2004, and that was a long time ago. 